one of the best ways to learn any technology or any product is to do things yourself get your hands dirty to know it better for you to go ahead and practice and understand AWS better you need an AWS account once you have an AWS account you can log in and practice creating a virtual machine creating a network and there's a lot of things that you can do with AWS in this lesson let's go ahead and learn how you can create an AWS account for free all you gotta do is navigate to aws.amazon.com slash free and it will bring you to this location all you gotta do is create a free account trust me it's not gonna take more than 10 minutes to get ready and start provisioning your resources right so you go ahead and type your email address your password confirm the password and then type an AWS account name usually this AWS account name is the name of your company or name of your organization and if you're doing this for yourself, you can go ahead and type in a fictitious name. That's fine as well. But I think most of us have an Amazon account. You might have used it for purchasing on Amazon.com website. Then in that case, you can go ahead and sign in using that account as well. Once that is done, you have to submit your credit card as a means to authorize and tell Amazon that it's a real person who's creating an Amazon account. Well, why would you need a credit card? The only reason to use a credit card is to authorize yourself and that tells us that it's not a robot. Otherwise, malicious actors can write a script to create hundreds of accounts in Amazon and then start building the resources with the help of a script. And that's something Amazon doesn't want or even any other cloud provider would not like that to happen. So they need some kind of an authorization and credit card is an acceptable method of authorization in AWS. For 12 months, if you stay within the free tier subscription, you will not be charged a single dime. So I will go ahead and type in some fictitious email address here and type in rocket science at hotmail.com and give some random but secure password and type in some random AWS account name here. Okay. That's going to go ahead and ask you for this information, right? So it's regular form. We got to fill in some of your personal information like first name, last name, company name, phone number, and all of these attributes. And then go ahead and check this box, click on create account and continue. And thereafter, you will be asked to punch in the credit card details and then that should be done. Okay. So in your case, you can go ahead and select the personal subscription instead of typing in the professional one, unless you're creating it for your company.